Hello, we're going to talk about magnetic locators and the products and how they react to various steel targets or ferrous targets that are buried below the earth. A magnetic field is detected by these instruments because the steel itself creates its own magnetic properties. When it is buried within the earth and it having its own magnetic property, the two magnetic fields collide and create a distortion of sorts and our instruments will react to that distortion. The 52CX is, has the longest tube and what that represents is the sensor separation within this tube has the furthest separation allowing for this product to have the most sensitivity to find deeper targets and also very small ferrous targets. This is the volume knob on the GA52CX and this is the sensitivity switch. Again as you increase the sensitivity you can see deeper targets from farther away. For the GA52CX, it has a 5 position sensitivity switch. Next is the 72CD. Its tube is a little bit shorter. Therefore, the sensors within the tube are also shorter in, in separation. It has the next sensitivity to find still various survey targets and as well as utility targets. For the model 72CD, the volume and sensitivity adjustments are under underneath the bottom of the can at the top. This is the volume switch, and this is the sensitivity that has four positions. The magnetic field that's detected by these locators is also going to be subject to the orientation of the object that's buried below. These objects can be oriented at every degree from vertical to horizontal. The following depictions will indicate how the unit reacts as far as how it peaks out over a vertical target and how it peaks over a horizontal target. On the ground is a horizontal target made out of steel. Uh, this is a ground stake, but it has the properties of having a magnetic field on the opposing ends of this stake. I'm going to demonstrate the 52CX and show you by the tones how it reacts to the magnetic field on the opposing ends. The tone goes up when it sees this end of the stake. It'll quiet over the midpoint or the neutral part of the magnetic field along the object. And it'll rise and peak out on the other end. If you go beyond the edge of the target, the tone goes down. This is where the distortion of the magnetic field is created on one end. And on the other end. The larger the steel target, the bigger the magnetic field and the better the detection for the instrument. I'm going to show you now a very small target called a PK nail and then a very large target in comparison which is a water valve cover and how the model GA52 reacts at the same sensitivity to both. The movement I just showed, moving the instrument around the outlying area of the cover is kind of a crosshair kind of movement over the target. In this way as I bring the magnetic locator into the perimeter of the cover and the unit goes up in tone and peaks over the edges, I'm able to get an outline and shape of the object. We're now going to go locate various utility targets that some of that are exposed at the surface and some that are buried below ground so you get an idea and understanding of the various applications these magnetic locators can be used.